Okay, this is the serratus anterior. Kaylee's going to hold her arm out to a 120 degree angle like this. And I'm going to stabilize her lower scapula and apply pressure to her upper arm and resist. <laughs> okay, awesome. Okay, so we are going to be manual muscle testing the upper trap. So we're going to stand behind the client and um, we're going to have them flex their shoulder up to their ear. So kind of like scrunch up like that. And then to test them, we're going to put our hand right here on their shoulder and then on the side of their head. And we're going to have them try to resist. So on three, one, two, three. Okay, so we're testing the lower trap today. So we're going to have the client prone and we're going to have their arm out like this with their thumb up. And we're just going to push down on the forearm. So I'm going to push. <laughs> Okay, this is the middle trap and alternate rhomboids. So you're gonna have your client stick their arm out to the side and for middle trap, their thumb will be up and I'm going to apply pressure down to her forearm, so resist. And then for alternate rhomboids, their thumb will go down and I'll apply pressure to their forearm, resist. Okay, this is the rhomboids levator scapula, scapulae. And so Kenny will be laying prone and this arm can just be at like a 90 degree angle. This arm is gonna be up and it's kinda gonna look like a bat wing. So you can just rest your hand here. So I can stabilize her scapula and I'm going to apply pressure outwards. So I'll tell her to resist. Good job. We are gonna be testing the shoulder, shoulder lateral rotators. Um, specifically the infraspinatus. So we're going to have Kaylee put her arm out at a 90 degree angle, laying prone. We're going to stabilize under her humerus and we're going to apply pressure at the forearm. So resist. Okay, so I'm testing the shoulder lateral rotators, Terry's minor. So we're going to have Kennedy lying on her back and we're going to have her arm up like this and I'm going to support her elbow with my palm. And then I'm going to apply pressure on her forearm right here, so I'm going to apply it. Alright, so I'm doing shoulder medial rotator prone. So Mackenzie is on her belly, and I'm going to ask her to have her arm out like this. I'm going to provide support right under here, and I'm going to apply pressure right here on her arm, so I'm applying pressure. Okay, this is the shoulder medial rotators in supine. And so Kaylee's gonna bring her arm up at a 90 degree angle and I'm gonna stabilize the outside of her elbow. And then I'm going to ask her to resist as I push laterally. Resist. Good job. We are testing Kaylee's latissimus dorsi. So we're gonna have her prone. We're gonna have her put her arm straight up and make sure her that her palm is facing up and we're going to um, apply pressure in abduction, so resist. Okay, I'm testing McKinsey's pectoralis minor, so she's going to be laying on her back and I'm going to ask her to shrug her shoulders inwardly. Perfect. So I'm going to apply pressure right here. pectoralis major upper. So I'm going to have Kennedy laying supine and I'm going to have her lift her arm like this and I'm going to have her turn her head in the direction that her arm is lifted. So go ahead and turn your head. I'm going to apply pressure right here on her shoulder to compensate for any um, movements that she might do. So I'm going to apply pressure right here. Ready? One, yes. two, three. So I'm doing the pectoralis major lower, so Kennedy will be supine. I'm going to have her arm in this position so she is medially rotated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold her hip right here. I'm going to come around and grab this side of her arm and apply pressure towards her cranial head. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I'm going to apply pressure.
also test the Terry's Major, and we're gonna have Mackenzie lying prone, and we're gonna have her, the non-tested arm just in a relaxed position in a right angle, and then we're gonna have her uh, tested arm be in this position with her wrist uh, just resting on her lower back, and then we're gonna apply pressure um, on the elbow abduct in abduction and downwards, so resist. Okay, this is the anterior and posterior deltoid, but we'll start with the anterior deltoid. So Kaylee is going to be in a comfortable position here. It can kind of be at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to support her shoulder and push towards her posterior side. Resist. Okay, and now for posterior, posterior I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to support her shoulder, but I'm going to move her arm back a little bit so that I'm able to push forward. Resist. I'm testing the anterior deltoid. So I'm going to I'm going to have her in a 90 degree position. I'm going to support her wrist right here and I'm going to apply pressure adductly um, towards her body. Ready? I'm testing at McKinsey's posterior deltoid, so I'm going to support her scapula, and I'm going to ask her to bring her arm up like this. So with support, I'm going to apply pressure right here, and I'm going to apply pressure going in the adduction. So one, two, three. Okay, we are going to test the supraspinatus and the middle deltoid. So we're going to have the patient sitting and we're going to have them put their arm at a 90 degree angle and we want to stand behind them so we're going to apply pressure at the distal humerus um, downward so resist oh. all right so i'm doing the triceps brachii and anconius so mckenzie will be laying prone She'll be scooted on the edge of the table so that her arm is supported by the table. Um, I'm going to be underneath her forearm right here. And I'm going to be also applying pressure here. So I'm going to apply pressure underneath and hold on top right here. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we are going to manual muscle test the triceps brachii and the anconius in supine. So we're going to have Mackenzie laying down, we're going to stabilize at her bicep, and then we're going to apply pressure in the direction of flexion, so resist. Okay, this is the biceps brachii and brachialis. So I'm going to support Kennedy's elbow, and I'm going to apply pressure downwards on her forearm and have her resist me. Ready? Resist. I'm doing the coracobrachialis, so I'm going to have Kennedy up like this, like she's flexing, and I'm going to apply pressure down at the one-third part of the humerus, and I'm going to apply pressure um, towards extension and abduction, so I'm fixing to apply pressure. Are you ready? Yep. This is the brachioradialis, and so Kennedy's going to be slightly flexed, and I'm going to support underneath her elbow and her hand's going to be with her thumb up, and I'm going to apply pressure downwards on her forearm. Ready? Resist. Okay, this is the supinator. So I'm going to support Kaylee's um, bicep, <laughs> and her thumb's going to be facing laterally, and I'm going to apply pressure towards pronation. Okay, ready? Resist. I'm doing supinator, but she's going to be in the supine position. So as you can see, her arm's going to be up like this. I'm going to be holding her elbow, and I'm going to be applying pressure in the direction of pronation. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Hello. We are going to do the supinator and the biceps manual muscle test. 
we are going to have the patient lying down. We're going to have their elbow at a 90 degree angle in line with their body. We are going to stabilize right here and we are going to apply pressure in the direction of pronation. So we want them to resist. So resist. Okay, this is the pronator quadratus. So Kennedy's gonna put her elbow towards her side and I'm gonna support down here. Her wrist is gonna be in pronation and I'm trying to turn it towards supination. So I'm gonna apply pressure towards supination and resist. Ready? Okay, this is the pronator teres and quadratus. So Kennedy's elbow is going to be towards her stomach and I'm going to support underneath her elbow which is going to be slightly flexed. Her wrist is going to be in pronation and I'm trying to turn it to supination. So you're going to resist. Ready? I'm doing the extensor carpi ulnaris. So she's going to be in this position. I'm going to have her arm supported like this, and I'm just going to press down right here on her ulnar side. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're testing uh, Kennedy's extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. <coughs> so, bless you. So we want to first make sure her arm and her, or her wrist is hanging off of a surface. So we're going to have her first see if she can even do this. So can you do that okay? Yep. Alright, perfect. So I'm going to apply pressure on her, one second, second and third, second and third metacarpal bones in the direction <coughs> of flexion. So are you ready? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Yep. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. So I'm going to support Kennedy's arm and her hand is going to be supinated and I'm going to apply pressure radially and into um, extension. Okay, so resist. Okay, flexor carpi radialis, your hand is gonna be in slightly less than full supination and I'm gonna support and I'm gonna push down and towards the ulnar side. Flexor digitorum profundus, so I'm going to block these joints and I'm going to have Kennedy flex her DIP and I'm going to apply pressure downwards and she's going to resist. Ready? Resist. Mm -hmm. Ready in the flexor digitorium superficialis. So I'm going to apply or put my fingers here and I'm going to apply pressure on the MCP. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So I'm testing the extensor digitorium, and I will be stabilizing the wrist to avoid her to have full extension. And I'm going to apply pressure right here on the proximal parts of her inner phalangeal joints. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we are going to do the palmaris longus and palmaris brevis. So we are going to have um, Mackenzie's arm our forearm in supination and we're going to apply both two, two of our fingers to the fatty pads of her palm and we're going to have her resist. So resist. So we're doing the dorsal interossi. So for this one make sure her fingers are abducted. So that means this and then if you're going to do the palmar interossi they're going to be adducted like this. So for this manual muscle test, the dorsal interossi, where all we're going to do is apply pressure to the MCP joint right here. So I'm applying pressure, applying pressure, and applying pressure. We're doing the palmar interossi. So for this one, we're going to have her hand like this, so all of the fingers will be adducted. And to test this, I'm going to hold these fingers, and I'm going to pull her thumb, or I'm going to apply pressure. and I'm skipping the middle finger. Okay, so we are testing the abductor pollis 
brevis. So there are three parts of the thumb that we want to make sure to remember before we do this. So you have this section, which is the IP. You have this section, which is the MCP. And then you have this section that goes all the way down to the wrist, which is the CMC. So for this specific, specific test, we're going to focus on this section. So the MCP region, which we're going to refer to as the proximal phalanx. So the position is we're going to have their hand um, with the palm up. We're going to stabilize kind of under their wrist. And we are going to apply pressure in the direction of adduction um, towards the palm. So right here in this area, like we said, we're going to tell Kaylee to resist. So resist. So we're manual muscle testing the openness policis. So I'm going to support her wrist and I'm going to hold her hand or her thumb like this. And I'm going to apply a pressure against the thumb in the direction of extension and adduction with lateral rotation. So resist. Okay, we're going to test the adductor pollicis. So with this test, we're going to have the palm is up. We are going to put two fingers on the medial side of her thumb and we're going to have her resist by applying pressure in the direction of abduction. So resist. That's all. I'm testing the flexor pollicis longus. So I'm going to support her wrist and also place my thumb here. I'm going to apply pressure to this distal part of her thumb. Resist. Perfect. Okay, we are going to test the flexor pollicis brevis. So we're going to have the palm up. We're going to stabilize under her wrist here. And we're going to apply pressure to the proximal, so proximal dorsal, right? Proximal yeah. MCP. Yeah, so we're going to apply it to this proximal part of her thumb in the direction of abduction. So we're going to press it away from her. So resist. Okay, we are going to test the extensor pollicis longus. So we're going to have her hand positioned to where her thumb, we can see her thumb the best. And we're going to um, stabilize under her hand. And with one finger, we're going to apply pressure to the IP joint, so this the top portion of the thumb, in the direction of flexion and tell her to resist. So resist. And when we do that, we should see a little tendon popping up right here. So we're doing the extensor pollicis brevis, so I'm going to hold Kennedy's wrist right here for support and I'm going to apply pressure to the dorsal surface of the proximal phalanx, which is right here. Alright, you ready? Yes. Okay, we are going to test the abductor pollicis longus, so we are going to have her hand in a position where we can kind of see her thumb at the top. We are going to stabilize under her wrist here, and then we're going to apply pressure at the distal end of the first metal metacarpal. So this will be the proximal end, this will be the distal end. So we're going to apply pressure here um, in the direction of adduction, so more towards her palm. So resist. So we're doing the abductor digiti minimi, and we're going to stabilize these fingers right here so they don't compensate. And it doesn't matter where you place the finger right here, it just says that you apply pressure against the ulnar side of the little finger in the direction of adduction. So here we go. Okay, we are going to do the opponus digi digiti minimi. And we are going to have, the palm is going to be up. We are going to put our thumb in this space right between these two fingers. And we're going to apply pressure at the fifth metacarpal right here in this like fatty region. But the book says instead of using our thumb to do it, we want to use our index finger since it's lighter pressure. So resist.
Okay. We're doing the flexor digitum minimi. So I'm going to support her wrist here, and I'm going to apply pressure to the proximal part of her pinky and try and push it into extension. Okay, we are going to test the lumbricals. And this is where you are going to put your hand like you're kind of holding a piece of paper. And um, you want to apply pressure downward first, so resist. And then you're going to go underneath and you're going to apply pressure up and have them resist, so resist.